night everybody <laughs> Woo, it is so late we're still here must share the word of God with you guys right so our title today is like a mighty wind we went to church tonight oh my goodness I loved it church is amazing it was like a Holy Ghost party it got me to thinking So this is our picture, you know, of the um, the upper room, you know, right, of <clears throat> when the Holy Ghost fell. Okay, so we're talking about a powerful wind here. Oh, give it just one second. So John, chapter 3, verse 8, Jesus is talking about being born again of the Spirit. The wind, the wind bloweth where it listeth. Not listen, but wish. And thou hearest the sound thereof but canst not tell whence it cometh and whether it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. So the wind blowing, does itself, does the wind itself have sound? No, but you can feel it. But you don't know which way it's coming from. I can feel it. I can try to test for it and see if it's coming from that way. Or if you have a, a you know, kind of one of those old farm windmills with the rooster on top, it would kind of show which way the wind was blowing from. It's the same as this verse. Now, same as a baby, right? We were all born. The doctor, you know, holds you up and kind of gives you that spout on the bottom. And then you start crying. You start crying and you, you make a sound. And they know, okay, he's making a sound. It's alive. It's, it's... But in being born again, how do you know that you've been born again? If the wind doesn't have sound until it hits something, right? It makes it hits the branches and makes a noise. Same as this paper. Okay. So when I blow, it rattles the same as your tongue. When the spirit of God hits you, you begin to speak in other tongues. Your tongue begins to shake. Acts 2 and 2. Remember, we're talking about the wind, Jesus' spirit. It says, be born again of the water and the spirit. You can't see heaven, you can't go into heaven without being born, being baptized in the name of Jesus and receiving the Holy Ghost. There's no way to enter into heaven without that. So in Acts 2 and 2, this is what happened. Let's go back to Acts 1 and 1. The promise of the Holy Spirit. You can read chapter 1 yourself here. Okay, 
right, so Jesus is resurrected. It says, when they were come in, they went up into an upper room where abode both Peter and James and John, Andrew, Philip, and Thomas, Bartholomew, and Matthew, James, the son, Right? So it's talking about all the apostles and men plus the women and the mother, Mary, the mother of Jesus. So the upper room was filled with both men and women. They were in there praying, connected. And the Holy Ghost, okay? And the Holy Ghost hit him. It says, coming of the Holy Spirit. This is where in Acts 2 and 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully, I mean, it's finished, right? It was fully come. They were all with one accord in one place. So again, they were all connected in this room, praying, seeking, supporting each other, believing in God, the believe in Jesus, the real promise would come. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. Today, he was talking about, you know, it wasn't just a simple wind, you know, that they, they felt, but it was a powerful, mighty, forceful wind that came to that, that room. And here in Genesis 1 and 2, we see, And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. It means he moved like a powerful wind. And we continue, and it says, And it filled all the house where they were sitting. So again, here's our picture. And it filled it, every single one of them. The same as your paper. This, this is what your, your tongue does. When that, when that powerful wind of God, the Spirit of God, hits your tongue. You begin to speak in tongues. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the power and fire of God. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. And it set upon each of them. And they were all filled, not some, all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues meaning other languages, as the Spirit gave utterance. Not themselves that gave the power to do so, but the Spirit gave the utterance, the possible possibility to do so. This is a, where Peter understood the power of the Holy Ghost. He was preaching. And some people believe, oh, that's only for the Jews. And that's not true. It says, for the promise is unto you. Now Peter's preaching to the group. He says, it's for you. For every man, every woman who listeneth and believeth. So it's a promise unto you and to your children. Some say, oh, only the Jews. Some Jews believe. Uh, 
Some believe that you know could be half Jew or half Greek. Could be a Gentile or Sumerian. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, some believe that you have to fall in love with your your culture and, and not uh, you know not cross marry from culture to culture. But nowadays, it's you know it's especially here in America, you have all different nationalities marrying all different nationalities. So how can it be for one thing? It says, for the promise unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. He says, come unto me. And he lets his Holy Ghost and his powerful Holy Ghost and Spirit move and hit people and gives them this, the Holy Ghost through the, the showing of tongues by giving them a language they weren't born with. I'm deaf. Am I skilled at talking? No. But Jesus knows my heart that it's a true worship. And I begin to worship him, and I speak in tongues. And it is so amazing. It's, it's, it's absolutely brilliant about all things. I love the word of God. And I believe God will give his Holy Ghost to you if you believe and you follow him. And you say, Lord, I want to receive your spirit. Go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father in heaven. I ask that your spirit come down and touch whoever is watching this. Touch their heart and lead them to your church, Lord. A church that preaches and believes in your word. And preaches Acts 2.38. That we must repent of our sins. Be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of our sins. And receive the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you all.